Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Hi. Today's video is going to be very, very different because I'm not talking about makeup today. I'm talking about pregnancy and all the things that I know about it because I've done it twice and I'm about to do it again. Um, possibly tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, so this video was requested. The girl who requested me to do this video, basically she's on her first baby. So I'm just... She was just asking for some advice on what to bring for your maternity bags. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm no bougie bitch. Everything I have is, I've got it at a discount, um, it was gifted to me, or I have saved and I've bought it, or I've bought it when stores like Boots and Lidl and Aldi, and sometimes Tesco's, or any shop that I go to, will have it on offer. Because trust me, kids fly out of clothes. And there's no point in spending a heap of money on it, because you will lose it, one, They'll grow out of it or they'll never wear it. Simple as. I've done it twice already. I know how this thing works. And honestly, if you can get anything from friends and family, grab it. Because it'll just save you a load of trouble. Like when I had my first baby, um, I had no friends or family that had kids near me. So I had to go and buy everything all brand new. Now there is certain things you're going to need brand new like um, breast pumps, bottles, stuff like that. Which I'll go through now in a second. We'll go through what I'm putting into my bag because I literally have my suitcase right in front of me. I have emptied it and I'm going to repack it <laughs> because I know I have everything I need and probably more. Um, yeah, so if you can get anything off friends and family do, especially like for, I'd always say just buy one new newborn outfit because it's really nice just to have that little nice, clean, fresh outfit to put them into. Um, I have one pink and one blue and one neutral because my partner doesn't know what I'm having until I actually give birth. I think he thinks it's a boy because of the size. <laughs> so far the baby's coming in at £10 which is about I think 4.5 kgs or something and my midwife said they're not going to let me go to 5 kgs because otherwise I won't be able to push it out. Um, and then I'll have to be c-sectioned and for me I'm so afraid of going under the knife for anything. So yeah we're going to really try and get her out as naturally as possible as I can. And if not sure, they have the people there to do it for me. You know, it'll be fine. I'm not. I'm not forced. And and I think when you're having babies, go in with an open mind, because your body and your baby will is going to do what it's going to do. There's no point in saying I'm going in for a water birth and I'm definitely going to have a water birth and it's all going to be fine. Child, I went in for a water birth my first. I was in there for about two hours and I was like, the water's getting cold. I don't like this. It was just the pain. I was like, nah, it's all right. So then they gave me petaline into my leg. I was fine then with that for a couple of hours and then I held out as long as I could I was three days in labour with my first and he really did not want to come out and then the he was getting stressed and my body was getting stressed so they said you have two options you either take the epidural and relax or we're going to have to c-section you and I was like give me the epidural I slept for 12 hours I woke up and they were like oh you're going to have a baby by 12 o'clock <laughs> I'm going to have the baby in the next 20 minutes and I pushed him out and he was born at 11.03. Do you know, your body needs to rest. And for my second one, I was like, yeah, I had to be induced because he was 42 weeks and a bit over. And I was like, do you know what? I was so tired. I was so drained after the first one. It was just, I'm not because it was an awful experience, cause, but it was an experience and it was hard. And my whole breastfeeding thing with him was really difficult because I was just so tired and I was so stressed. That when it came to having my second boy, I was like, do you know what, give me the epidural. Well, I, ha I had to be induced for starters. And then I was like, I'll have the epidural. I'm going to sleep. Take me off the epidural at about nine centimetres and we'll go through nine, ten and push him out on, on my own. And that's exactly what I did and that's exactly what I'm doing this time. I slept. I had the energy. I breastfed so much easy, so much easier. And even for him, his birth was so much more smoother. And I think because of it, he's a, he's a much quieter child because his whole entrance into the world was calm like I didn't have that like real excruciating pain pain like it was sore don't get me wrong but it wasn't like oh my god like I'm gonna die or anything it wasn't like that at all some people like when I used to read blogs and stuff of people they were like horror stories and I'm like Jesus like what am I getting myself into honestly go in with an open mind what will be will be keep calm carry on if the doctors recommend an epidural, take it. It's not going to kill you. It'll be the best thing for you. Get your body some rest and you'll be able to sail through it. And there'll be no... Like, I never had to have stitches. And I have had big babies. They were 8, 9 and 9, 10. 8, 9, 9. Yeah. 
and now I'm coming in with a 10 something. So, you know, just just do do what you feel is best. Do what's easiest for you. You get no medals at the end of this for being brave and going through all the holler and pain. Like, what's the point? Like, honestly, these people are professionals. They're medical professionals. They know what they're doing. And try to sleep as much as you can. I just went on maternity yesterday and I was supposed to, my baby's not due until the 2nd of December, but obviously because of her size, they have to bring me on. It's too dangerous for me and for her to stay in there for much longer. So they're going to induce me early. Um, and yeah, I thought I could work right up until day dot. But it turns out that on my last day of work, I actually got um, Braxton Hicks really, really bad. And that happened to me with my last. Um, I had them about a couple of days before I gave birth. So that's why I know she's really close and she might actually go herself. But I doubt it. I'll say she'll have to be pushed because none of my babies want to leave me. As long as I'm safe and healthy, I would be very happy. So I'm going to go through what I have. First of all, what you will need. Now, it depends on whether you're going to breastfeed or if you're going to bottle feed. I personally, I do both because just what's easiest for me and what I have time for. And I do pump. So I have got my uh, Medella Swing Pump. This is the one I use. It's the one they use in the hospitals as well. Now, I got this at a bargain price of 50 quid um, in Boots. They were doing a... I can't remember what, what they were doing, but they had... Um, that's some kind of a clearance thing out anyhow. And that's another thing on his AT. Always check the clearance aisles because they are brilliant. And yes, I know my family and everybody who knows me goes, oh yeah, always reduce to clear. Yes, reduce to clear. This thing retails at like a £135. I've only ever seen it in like the bigger boot stores. Um, and I'm like, I'm not paying £135 if I can get for less. Hmm. So it comes with everything you need. Your that's the pump bit. The more you've got a few little uh, milk bags. Obviously, you're gonna need a charger. You can put batteries into it as well. Um, your little bottle stand. And then it comes with, of course, it comes with a million instructions and your little bottles to put it into and then some um quick cleaners for if you want to like put it into the microwave give it a steam clean or whatever i think that's what they're for and then you've got your pumps well only one and i'm not sure what that thing is for i haven't seen one of them before oh that might be to connect it maybe i'm not sure i'll have to read the things but anyhow the last time i got a tommy tippy one and honestly, for me, it didn't, it was good, but it didn't have the best of suction that I wanted. And it just, it just wasn't for me really. So it worked, but I'm hoping that this time around, it'll be a bit easier for me because I found breastfeeding quite difficult. It wasn't something that came naturally to me, but then when I got the hang of it, it was fine. So it just, it's a bit of um, perseverance. But again, like I do both. I do bottle and breast because I don't want them getting too attached to me that when I go to wean them, they won't wean. And I've seen that happen with some babies before. And parents are like, oh God, you know, they can't wean their child off the bottle. I'm like, give me, the, they're giving that bottle from, like, they will be breastfed from the minute they're out. But as soon as they can, like, you know, get the hang of it themselves, then they're on the bottle. And then I'll be doing a bit of both. So that's what I have for my breastfeeding thing is my Medela breast pump, which stays here in the house. I'm not bringing that to the hospital with me. Um, now I also have a manual one which I will, will be bringing to the hospital with me I got this one in um, actually I didn't buy this my friend gave it to me she bought it for me so thank you um, it, it's a silicone breast pump from Mamiya from Aldi it's just so basically when the baby is latching on to me um, I can be this one will be because your breast pump at the same time usually so this one can be emptying as well so I can save that for a bottle so that's coming with me <coughs> now for birth I have a birthing nightie that I give birth to both my boys in. It was something really, really cheap out of pennies. I think it was like five or ten euros or something. Um, yeah, and it just, it, it zip, it's um, buttoned down so that if they need to do anything or if I need to like get changed really quickly or whatever, it's actually inside out. I should turn it the right way around. But it's just, it's long, it's comfy and it's dark. Dark is good. So that's it, just, yeah. It's what I give birth to all my kids in, so yeah, it's just handy for me. I just like it. Some people don't, you don't have to have it. Do it however way you feel, but that's going in anyway. Right, we're talking about breastfeeding. So you need breast storage bags. 
So again, I got these in the clearance in boots, three quid, um, 30 bags. They're um, easy seal, leak proof bags, pre-sterilized, double walled for extra strength. And these are like the last ones, you're able to write on them. Yeah, so basically, if you're like shit, if you're pumping in, in work or whatever, you just write your name and your date and how much you had in it. Or I don't bother, I just put, because it's only me here and the kids, put them into the freezer and they're, they're just a godsend, especially if somebody else is feeding your baby and especially for night feeds. Oh my god, I used to pump for the night feeds because trying to get up and doing a bottle at that hour of the night. <sighs> not fun, I tell you, not fun. That's why I always like to have like a few bottles of breast milk in the fridge because that stuff is a lifesaver for night feeds. Now, then we come on to these. These are the nipple shields. Now, if you've got a child that won't latch properly, these are your best friend. Oh my God. My second family tore the bits off me, so he did. He would not latch properly. It turns out he was tongue tied, so I had to get his tongue snipped. Um, But he he really enjoyed breastfeeding. Like it wasn't, he, he was the one who was actually really easy because he had the easiest birth. Um. Yeah, so I had I bought the I bought I bought a cheaper version of these, but then I had to keep either putting holes into it or um it came to a stage where he wasn't being able to suck enough. So I got these Medela ones as well. They match the breast pump, but they've got like bigger. You can't really see there, but they have got bigger um, holes in it, so the baby can suck out enough. So hopefully these will work, and they come with a cute little thingy um, storage case. So at least they're going to be, you know, when I finish with them, I can just put them back in there. It'll be handy. I won't lose them because that's what happened the last ones. I lost them. No idea where they are. Again, you lose a lot of stuff. Second of all, this. Hey. Now, when I had my first, I was like, I'm not wearing them. The state of them. Huh. Little did I know my bits would be very, very thankful that I would have them. Um, yeah, because I went in with my, you know, my always towels and all this. Oh my God, they nearly cut the behind off me. Um, I didn't bleed very badly, thank God. God knows what it'll be like this time because this pregnancy has been totally different. But these big maternity towels are a lifesaver. They're so comfortable, honest to God. So they're going in. I got the ones from Superdrug and I have also ones from Tesco's. So honestly, whatever whatever works. It doesn't really make a bit of difference because you're going to be going through them fairly quickly anyway. Um, What else have I got here? I'm bringing my, my little poof. I also have some cotton balls for when the baby comes out now. My eldest had already done his, what is it, myconium, black poop. He did that inside me anyhow. So when he came out here, the nurse had to clean him off anyway. So at least I had them. Um, woolly socks, because I don't know why, but your feet always get really cold afterwards. Um, slippers, Primark's finest, last year. Um, spare knickers, you're going to go through loads. You actually are going to go through loads. Um because you don't know how quick you're going to bleed out. You might not bleed out at all. Most people do, to be fair. I don't think there's anybody I've ever met that didn't. Um, and I wasn't prepared enough. And do you know what I got the last time? Well, the first time I gave birth, I brought bought the disposable ones. Them ones are hella uncomfortable. I don't know why they bother with them. Just get your regular 100% cotton, get an exercise up, because just for comfort. Just for comfort. And it'll get over the bump. Um, also, don't forget when you're going in for your have a baby, have a bag of snacks. You'll need it. Trust me. This is the first year I've actually done it. First time I've done it. Every other time I'm like, Graham, go to McDonald's. Get me food. Starving. Absolutely starving. Because they don't let you eat while you're, um, you know, when, you, when you're in labour. Because it can sometimes it can make you sick or it can interfere with things. But I remember being really, really thirsty. So definitely get a bottle of water with you. And I remember being so hungry. And just even the sugar, just for your energy. I always bring this with me as well, is a thing of coconut oil. Um, just so I can keep the baby nice and um, moisturised. And it's like coconut oil, there's nothing in it really. I've, I've done it with the other two, so I'll be doing it again with this. Some people do it, most don't. I'm just a bit weird like that. So that's what's coming with me. Um, and a blanket. This is just kind of like my bag. I have two bags that I bring with me. And the blanket that's going in there as well. And the boys bought her a little toy, so I'm gonna have to put that in just because. Nappies, pampers. Um, I got these for my baby shower. Normally I'd get like um the Nidl or Aldi ones or whatever is closest to hand, really, is what I use. Um my friend Paolo bought me these, so thank you. Um for my baby shower, he got me a load of nappies and wipes 
and they don't allow you to use wipes on your newborn but you'll leave the wipes for yourself so two packets just in case um also what i put into my maternity bag is a packet of these these are brilliant they don't give you them in the hospitals anymore because obviously they're trying to encourage breastfeeding which is brilliant but if you have a baby that won't latch or just refuses to breastfeed these are brilliant like i don't see why hospitals don't give you the bottles anymore like i know they're obviously a bit expensive but at the end of the day you're encouraging the brand so um yeah so i have two packets of these that i'm bringing with me because if it's something like my last two babies they were hungry babies um so i'm bringing two back packets of them with me just in case like i will i'm hoping to breastfeed but you know life takes its own turns and i'm also bringing some dodies so i've got two actually grandma bought more so i've got three packets of dodies i have the newbie ones the orthodontic dummies daytime ones and i've got ones for any these are two or any time ones so it doesn't really make a big difference they're all the same but just that they have to be orthodontic so it doesn't ruin the shape of their mouth that's coming in with me as well two pack of two of them um i would say if you do see these on offer pick them up you will lose dodies like you will not believe unless you get a string and put them onto it but every time i get a string the boys used to pull the string off so that was a disaster second of all if you are going to bottle feed you are going to need some bottles these are the ones i use the tommy tippy ones I have been using these since I gave birth to my first. The first batch I had of these lasted my first and my second pregnancy because there's only 14 months between them. So it kept, they had, I had them for about three years and I had to get rid of them because I was like, they're mech. Um, and these are the closer to nature, the most breast-like teeth ever. And I think they actually are. Now I used to have the ones that were colic. Um, they used to have like a, a thing, they were something was an anti-colic thing. I can't remember. But these also have an air valve in them as well. So they have a they have an anti-colic thing but there used to be another one that had uh, a valve in it let me see can i open this i haven't opened them yet oh they're so cute and they're pink obviously i knew they were pink because i was buying them but like ah. ah yeah yeah so basically um as you can see here uh they have a little air vent there and that helps um just get this stuff out obviously i know yeah so six of them they all have you know they all have the same bottle type i thought they had different designs but they don't they have the same they're just pink loved up that she will be she's going to be the apple of her daddy's eye it's so annoying because i want to like set up my sterilizer and stuff that's another thing you're going to need when you're doing bottles is you need a sterilizer because you have to sterilize your bottles now the sterilizer i use the sterilizer i use again is tommy tippy but it's just their basic range and it's the water one some people use the microwave one honestly can't be bothered with that literally cannot this thing holds up to four bottles so you can always have like two already pumped with breast milk in the fridge and then the other two i can rotate around bottles um i like this one because it's easy to use you literally just fill it up with a little marker inside it you fill it up to that you put in one of these per day and that's it for the whole 24 hours you just wash your bottles and dip them in and out and let them soak and that's it everything is sterilized um i did try the microwave one before and it just irritated me i was like this is too much effort like i just want quick and easy and i have seen some people who use the um what is it just these machines you can get now that like, literally make the formula for you and have it to the right temperature i've seen the back of them they're a bit ganky i wouldn't trust them as far as i throw them so to me just keep everything simple everything you can see everything you can like you can see dirt if it's going to be in there like you're going to be able to wash it but with them pre formula med things the ones that make up the formula for you I, I just I don't know I've seen some reviews and they're just not they're not my cup of tea honestly but that's just my opinion like some people love them some people swear by them not my cup of tea now I go between the Milton ones which are quite expensive but then I found these ones in Tesco's which were a hell of a lot cheaper more in the packet I can't remember what they were but they were literally like I think I think these are like nearly three euros and these were coming in at like one maybe once less was it less than one can't remember because i picked up a few bits of stuff as well but they were a hell of a lot cheaper they do exactly the same thing you know whatever whatever's handiest and whatever's nearest you is what you'll need 
Also, for this bag, now I'm not bringing the sterilizers and the bottles and all that jazz with me, but it's just handy to have them. What else I'm going to bring is my deodorant, because you're going to need that. And some baby wash. Now, I don't usually wash my babies in the hospital, but in case that they insist that I do, at least I have something that I know is safe. So I use the Child's Farm baby wash. I love this because it's really good for sensitive skin, it's, um, pediatrician and dermatologically tested. So it's good. Very, very good. Um, and then also some shower fresh for me and and some Sanix, depending on my mood, I'm bringing the both. Um, and also, when you're bottle feeding, you're going to need to change the teats as the baby gets older. So when you buy your packet, your Tommy Tippy packet, and by the way, again, every shop that sells baby stuff usually have an event twice a year. And what I've kind of calculated is that it's between February and October. So they'll have one coming up to February area and then another one coming up around October. Just, it's usually about September, October. That's when they get their deals in. And um, that thing of bottles, the six Tommy Tippy ones, I paid, I think, 15, 16 euros for something like that. It was it was definitely under 20 quid, which it normally retails at above 20 quid. I think they're like 35 or something. So check everywhere for bargains. Check online. Um, just obviously make sure you're buying the original, the real deal, because you don't want to put in stuff, counterfeit things into your baby's mouth. I know there is some of them out there. How strange that is. Um... Yeah, just check Boots. Boots I find are really, really good, especially when they have a baby event. And make sure you sign up for your Boots Advantage card because you get 10 points for everything you buy in babies section. And you get that for, I think, three or four years. And yeah, like literally the points add up. And sometimes Boots are actually cheaper, especially when they're having their events. They're cheaper than your other stores. Um, You need to change the teeth as the baby gets older. So these are from three months and these ones are from six months. And again, these are usually on offer. I think it's like two for a tenner or something. Or is it two for seven? Honestly, I can't remember. My head is fried. They're usually two for a certain amount. The wind up, it winds up being a hell of a lot cheaper to buy them together when they're on offer. Um, and that's what I do. So I have the first set got. I have to get two more sets when the time comes. Um, but yeah, the, the brand that I mainly go for are like Tommy Tippy your Mandela pump and I know that's expensive and if you can get it on offer absolutely buy it but I would definitely say buy a good one like I found the Tommy Tippy breast pump did not suit me at all it just did not have enough suction for me and um, the Mandela one that I used in the hospital before was brilliant and I really liked it but when it comes to bottles and stuff and dodies or dummies or whatever you want to call them I went for Tommy Tippy for my sterilizer, my bottles and my dodies and I cannot fault them. Literally they are long wearing, they take a hell of a battering, especially when you have little ones throwing them on the floor and everything. So yeah, that's my first bag. You will need two. So you'll be surprised at how much you'll actually fit into this bag that will not be coming back with you. Just saying. Um, now we're going to go through the second bag, which I'll turn the camera around because I have it all laid out on my couch. So we're just going to have a look at that. Two seconds. Okay, so this is my second bag. So as you can see here, here's my first one with all the stuff that I've literally just spoken about. And then this one is my second bag, which is just a big, um, big, oh, big hold all basically. Things you're going to need. Towels. Bring two, because sometimes the ones in the hospital just aren't like comfy. They're like not soft enough. So I'm bringing two, a big one and a little one. Then a cardigan. Now, even though I know I'm having a girl, my partner doesn't know. So I'm bringing some blue things, some baby hats. I usually bring about three. A load of baby vests, because when babies have like big poop, sometimes it just goes everywhere. So it's handy to have a backup. Um, just bringing this one as well because it's nice and cute, this blue one here. Then, oh god, I'm out of breath already. Then we've got some baby grows again, pinks, neutrals, blues, whatever. I mean, honestly, they're going to grow out of them so quick, it actually doesn't even matter. Um, I've also got this, which is so cute. It's from the Disney store, I think. Yeah, I think it's from Disney. Yeah, it is. Um, my friend got me that for my first baby. Um my friend Natalia so thank you for getting me this because it's the cutest little thing it's a little thumper that's thumper isn't it anyhow that's coming with me to bring the baby home in little bottoms just because I think these are really really cute I really like them and then this is my bag we'll be going through this in a minute um just that bag there and socks you're going to need loads of little baby socks so again I just put these in here 
Um, this is another thing. It's just a... What do you call them? It's like a blanket, but it just kind of wraps them up in it like a little cocoon. So that's coming with me. I've got some clothes so I can wear on the way home. Spare pair of jammies. A bag to take all my dirty clothes home in. And um, a nightgown just for myself to... Oh God, I'm so out of breath. This child is so big. Um, just a nightgown just so I can have, um, you know, some little comfort. Because um, comfort is very, very important. So as you can kind of see here... That is all the stuff that I will be bringing with me after. This is kind of like my afterbirth bag because it's all of her clothes and my clothes and just that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's about all you need because you're only going to be in there for like a day, two days max. And yeah, now we go through my toiletries bag. Okay, so this is my wash bag that I'm going to bring to the hospital with me. And these are just a few of the things that I'm actually going to be bringing with me. And I'm going to talk you through them, what it is and why I'm bringing it. Um, so first of all, this is just, this is my bag mainly. Um, it's just so that I can feel like me again after I give birth because I know what this is like. And I didn't have any of this the last time around or even the first time around. But this time I am because I want to feel nice and I want to, you know, I just think it's good for your own mental health and your mental well-being to feel like you again so um you know i have my loofah in my other bag so i'm bringing my body shop um shampoo and conditioner and i got the strawberry ones because they're the ones i really like um they're for my hair so i'm putting them in there then i have a little deodorant now i know i have a big deodorant in the other bag but just in case it's always good to have a backup plan um, I'm also bringing my body shop almond milk and honey uh, shower cream this is for sensitive skin so you know just in case I'm also bringing some bepanthin and I have some epiderm as well just you know moisturizers um, all that kind of stuff uh, these are my moisturizers for day and night time these are from the origin or origins make a difference uh, day and night cream they're so good and my boots experts can care q10 anti-aging eye cream um i'm bringing the extra moisturizing ones because the hospitals are really really dry the air in them is quite dry so i thought i better you know bring stuff that i need now when you get your your bounty app and your um, emma's diary app you get all these little freebies that they give you throughout the year well, throughout the nine months that you're pregnant so i got my nursing pads I got some two little sashes of shea butter lotion, which are coming with me because they are like really handy. And I've also got little aqua wipes, which I'll use that as well. Um, cotton buds, again, just in case. Hairbrush, because you always need one. And I'm bringing this just in case I have to clean the baby. And some facial soap as well that I got from Poland, so I'm bringing that with me. Um, now, I'm also bringing some makeup. I know that some people think that's a bit extra, but if anybody follows me, you know I like my makeup. So I'm bringing my NW, no, NC25, um, what's this, Pro Longwear. And I'm also bringing my Revolution one. What's this one? I actually can't remember what that is. Conceal and Define. And the only reason I'm bringing this one is because in case my tan wears off, I have something to mix in with my NC25 that's just a little bit lighter. I'm also bringing my NC15 uh, Pro Longwear Concealer as well because I know it could be a long one. I'm also bringing my Give Me Sun bronzer and I'm bringing my uh, Light Plus um, water, what is it, Studio Water Weight powders because they're just so handy. I'm also bringing this, this absolute beaut that was so kindly given to me. Um, yeah, I just love this. It's from the new MAC collection. Of course, I'm going to have to like bring that with me. I mean, look, it's so late. Love it. And I'm bringing this as well. It's my Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette thing, just in case I decide to be a little bit bougie and do some eyeshadows. I'm also bringing my I Heart Revolution one because the mirror on this is so good. And I can just take it off. I'm also bringing some face wipes. And I'm also bringing some brushes. And I've got some, I bought some new ones from Morphe. And I've also got some of my MAC ones in there as well. And I'm just bringing these these little ones because they're just so tiny and they can fit into my bag real handy. And I'm also bringing this bag, which is my normal bring to work every day. What's in my bag. Makeup stuff. 
um, because it's just really handy and I have everything in here that I pretty much need. I probably have maybe too much and more, but I know I will wear them and they will be used at some point. And yeah, so I can look decent when I leave the hospital, not look like an absolute train wreck like I've done all the other times. Um, my brush black eyeliner as well goes in there. These little brushes, I just want to wash them actually before I bring them so they can come with me too. And my little sample of my Bare Minerals powder. I like my powders just in case I get oily and sweaty. So yeah, that's what's in my bag and of course my wipes. So that is it. You kind of get an idea of what I'm bringing. So guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. I know it's not makeup related or anything, but hopefully it'll be able to help somebody out there. Um, just get organized and get ready for stuff that they need for their baby bag. And with any luck, I'll have a little baby within the next 48 to 72 hours, depending on whether she wants to come out or not. Um, yeah, so hope you like this video. I have no idea when it's gonna go up. I'm hoping it'll be up next Friday. It'll again depend on when I give birth because as I said, my partner doesn't know I'm having a girl. <laughs> and he's actually going to die because he's so convinced we're having a boy because I have two boys already. Um, yeah, so it'll be very, very exciting times ahead. And it's nearly Christmas. I'm so excited to have a Christmas baby because I'm a Christmas baby. And I think it's the most magical time of the year to have a baby. Um, I know some people were like, oh, Christmas baby and, you know, kind of people kind of think it gets overshadowed, but I don't think that at all. I think it's like the most magical time. Like when, what other time of the year do you have a whole town or a whole city that's decorated out so magically and it's your birthday as well. You get both. I know you don't always get double presents, but it's not always about the presents. It's just sometimes about, you know, seeing your family and seeing your friends and, you know, just the coziness and the nice things. And um, yeah, I'm so I'm so looking forward. To, I actually hoped that she'd be able to come on my birthday, but she'll be here before my birthday because yeah, they're bringing me on early. But anyhow, yeah, thank you so much for watching my video, and hopefully the next time I'm chatting to you, I will have a baby girl in my arms. Um, yeah, cool. I'm so excited. <gasps> yeah, I'm excited and scared all at the one time. It, it, it's like it's a very weird, very weird feeling. Like I'm, I'm so excited for the pain to come in because then I know it's like she's on her way. Yeah, and I'll be meeting my little woman, and we have a name, but I'm not saying it yet. I'll say that after. It's a, it's a nice. I like the name anyhow. It has a nice meaning behind it. So yeah, ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh. Yeah, the Braxton Hicks have started. They're quite pinchy and painful. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna go. Um, because I want to tidy up all this and I want to sit down a minute properly. Sit in a nice chair, comfy chair. Um, yeah. And any of you that are having babies around this time of the year, congratulations. And I hope you are just as excited as I am. And take it all in because it's magic and yeah the love and you know what when you have that child this is another important little thing when you have that child and it's on you the pain literally goes away because half of the stuff that happened to me with my first and second second pregnancies i can't actually remember all i remember was i had this cute little tiny little baby on me mind you they weren't that tiny but to me they were tiny and I was like oh my god I was like who do you look like what and I just remember looking at them going and their little eyes and they're in this new world and everything is so new and they're just like looking at you and they have this unconditional love for you it's crazy it literally is crazy and yeah I'm gonna have it again oh so excited anyhow I'm gonna go because I'm gonna feel myself tearing up here pregnancy hormones whatever um yeah so any other mother that's out there that's going to have a baby or a daddy this is going to be the best experience of your life and you're never going to forget it yeah and to all the mummies out there that are doing it single hand handedly you are fucking amazing because it's a hell of a hard job i know i've done it that way too for a little while and because he, my partner works away a lot it's hella hard i may as well be a single mommy half the time but yeah you you find these communities and when I had my first two I had no family support like and I had no I didn't I moved to a new area so I didn't have friend support and you know what I think I might just end there because that's a different topic altogether and it's more on a mental health topic which I might go into after I actually have her because I think that's very very important this is what mommies talk about mental health when you're pregnant it does exist it does happen and it's shit um that'll be another topic for conversation if anybody wants to get involved in that I would very very much like your your thoughts your questions whatever I've been through the rough side of it and I've came back another side which you know what which is so much better because it, it has given me the confidence to do this 
And I think when you have kids as well, you don't give a shit about what anybody else thinks because you have to think of you and your babies. And it's like that to the world. Right, yes. Bye, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you now before I actually like, I'm going to, I'm really hungry. I have a pain in my back. It's getting pinchy. It's going down my legs. It's not labour. It's only Braxton Hicks. Um, yeah. Bye-bye. I love you all. And anyways, have a baby's good luck. And I love you. Bye.